Hello, Hello. This is Phoenix Within. When I had started this recording, uh, it was 1.11 a.m. Synchronicity. Uh, I don't know, magic closed itself out or something. I just uh, did a recording. Um, just had another great conversation. Uh, we'll call him Soul. I believe he has his um, on YouTube channel, but it's unconfirmed. Okay. We're talking about the objects near the sun. Uh, expressed this in the video before. Um, it's saying that, well, I say I, I've heard two sides so far, new bro connections and ETs. He gives me a link, and I say, it doesn't look like new in my opinion. Yep, there goes new bro, I'd say. He gives me another link, and uh, he's, he's agreeing that it's not. Um, I then say, I saw very clear images. They look as, they look like crystalline ships for slash structures. Soul says, it just slowed its orbit around the sun, ready for the time when it must do what it was made to do. Uh, my response, no planet can do that unless planetary craft. He then said, Soul then says, that's why when it came into the solar system, it didn't fudge us up in the early 2000s. I say, came into the solar system, that narrows it down. He says, yep. I say, I'd s I'm starting this sentence. I'd say this is more than ETs. After all, even scientists say eternal forward slash infinite as they quote universes and existences forward slash parallel realities. I emphasize that's an LOL factor. Theories mostly, but they have some facts, but still. It gives me another link. Scientists haven't been around since the, u the universe's beginnings, 777 billion years ago. Just as synchronicity with seven expresses beginning and becoming, almost ultimate in some cases for slash actualities, a yes on ultimate expressions. Okay. Okay, um, he mentions about the link. If you want these links, um, uh, just send me a message. It's like, I, I can't. I mean, I can use them in the video. Well, I guess I'll post in the video. That'll be easy enough. But you'll have to type it all out, so it'd be, it would really save you a lot of time. Just Yeah, just basically ask for the links, because in the video, it would take up so much room. You'll have to type it all out. It's been on the manual side. Okay. Tells me you were about the trip. They knew, but kept quiet. I say, same objects is the question. Difficult to say when they are talking about tens of millions of years in time. This is talking about um, the uh, nemesis uh, being a, a brown object or as a dwarf star. And talking about, is this giving a little history on the website link? I'm talking about how every so many tens of millions of years, uh, asteroids are uh, come from this uh, dwarf itself, Nemesis. Okay. Let's see. Okay. They're findings from this planet's view, not the actual view, which is, is very self-explanatory. Okay. Okay, now, um, now it gets into Sedna. And Sedna, Saul says, uh, belongs to Nemesis. Okay, so I, I ponder a moment. Hmm. One idea is that Earth can't cleanse herself. If, okay, one idea is that if Earth can't cleanse herself or save herself, the planet being more important than the beings, beings can reincarnate, reincarnate. then it is at times to save a planet to stabilize with com comets. If true, then, nemesis, then this nemesis is a guardian, a ship can cloak, what of a sentient guardian, a.k.a. star-like, star 
in this case dark dwarf like just as black holes aren't destructive they transition entire galaxies to their next plane of evolution black holes even are even as a role of a guardian in fact more a gatekeeper eternity unfolds more and more lady mystery her workings are as intense as mystery and herself save a planet unfortunate yes but it's necessary for the planetary being to keep living reincarnation occurs either way and shouldn't be on natural ways that literally affect the planet itself um, to take a moment to talk about this a bit more um, this is this is not an act of judgment if uh, w with this uh, this type of information because planets essentially cannot reincarnate. If the surface is killed, then the planet is still active, but only at its very core. And a planet should not have to suffer over complete unnecessarinesses. That's what happens in an unnatural universe, essentially. I then say, well, that, that was off the record, back on the record. I say, Gov is screwed. They could have stopped. That's simple. But no wanted to think of their obscure ideals and consider themselves enlightened. Wow. In actuality, that is what you would call retarded, which is an unheard word in all alls. Equals just about that. They want destruction. That is where they will go. Do unto being to thyself. Their realization is their own. It is with all beings. Saul says, well, sudden that might be something else. I say, no one is forced, the being either coexists or doesn't, and their ironies and realizations to be expressed, aka the purity and honesty within all. Saul says, I thought it might be a part of Nemesi star system. I didn't say, or is it something else? Question mark. Saul then says, it could be Nubro as they like to lie. Need more research, but what is known that what is known that Nemesis exists. My response, hmm, if in Burrow, the actuality's percent rate far exceeds the planet's, quote, threats. The same with Gov. Actuality being what's really going on in eternity and evolution itself, quantified in that universe and of other existences of reflection values. This includes nebulas and far more. Norway's incident and three other spirals being a first on Earth. Obama fled Norway, literally. They have no idea what they are actually going to be afraid of. However, they did to themselves. I'm about to post... Oh, okay, that's what I was about to post. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. Now, this is where I ponder um, the all... Of, of what's going on. Hmm. So the quantifications really are as steep as I thought. Looks as if I'm right. Skepticism is dead, I think. Hmm. Maybe finishing near-death experience, but pretty much dead. Doubt died long time ago. Theories are as ghosties. Air duster! Oh. Cool. Cutting emote. Okay, so. Um... I post uh, some, some cool uh, drum and bass um, videos for them to check out. Okay, um, this is some new stuff, but according to Saul's information, which, um, thank you Saul um, for bringing this uh, to light, I, I was unaware of this. Um, essentially, the quantifications are building, to be honest, uh, the most intense quantifications that I can conjure, that I can comprehend, well, even if I can't comprehend it, I can still express it. Um, just as I can express eternity, but I can't fully comprehend it. Okay, Sedna belonging to Nemesis. Nemesis, probably a guardian that is protecting Earth, because Earth, as you can tell, is an extremely unique planet like no other in this universe. In fact, it's like no other in all existences. 